guys. So uh, here goes my second attempt to just make a simple, short, get ready with me video. Uh, my thought process is sort of, well, if you're going to try to switch from uh, using conventional products to all natural, cruelty-free products, um, what's the alternative? How do you do that? Where do you go? I know personally for me it was overwhelming uh, to try to figure out what I'm going to replace stuff with and what works and what doesn't. The good news is, is that once you get through all the mental conundrum about what do I use for this and not that and whatever, it's it's pretty simple. So without further ado, here we go. Um, first of all, this is bare face for me. Um, I just got out of the shower. I just blow dried my hair. Again, uh, this is about a week after henna-ing my hair which, if you've looked at my other videos, I mean, the color doesn't fade. Uh, henna sort of develops on your hair. Uh, over four days, you can really get an idea of what the true color is going to be. So, uh, for me, that's what this looks like. There's minimal product in my hair. I basically just blow-dried it and called it a day. So, uh, bare face, just got out of the shower. I do exfoliate every day because my skin is older, and uh, mature skin is the nice way of saying I have old lady skin. Um, and your, your skin does not sheds, it, it doesn't shed, turn over skin cells as quickly. So I exfoliate every day, I do it kind of gently, I've got those little like gloves that you can buy at Walmart for like two bucks and I just wash my face with those gently, gently, and that takes care of my skin texture. So here's an up close bare face. You can tell where I used to have acne and I do not anymore and this is the reason why. Coconut oil. This is Spectrum Organic Coconut Oil. You can find it at Walmart for like $7, give or take a few cents. It lasts forever. Um, well, forever. It lasts me a good two weeks because I use it to cook and I use it for my face. I keep a jar in the bathroom and I keep a jar in the kitchen. Uh, my husband continually has this confused look on his face. Anyway. Um, whoops, there goes the lid. Um, here it is on the inside. It's a solid form at room temperature, but you just take a little bit out of the jar, and as you can see, it starts to melt right away. See how it's slipping down my hand, and that's just with uh, normal body temperature. So the way that I do this is once I get out of the shower, and I usually do this right out of the shower as soon as I'm dry, um, I'll go ahead and just kind of put it on my face gentle circular motions, not a big deal. Um, I try to stay away from my eye area. It doesn't sting, but I find that when it gets into my eyes, it makes my eyeballs feel a little weird, and I just don't care for the feeling, but it's not going to hurt you or make you go blind if you get it in your eyes. It doesn't, it, um, it doesn't smell like coconut. Um, I should say that. Everyone's like, well, you know, aren't you afraid that you're going to smell like the beach all the time or whatever? You know, no, really, it's it's basically an unscented product. Mind you, it is all natural, so it does have a bit of a smell, but it's virtually undetectable, and it doesn't interfere with any other product, perfume, whatever, anything like that. So, uh, if I'm going to bed, I leave my face like this, and I just sit up, read, whatever, and basically get it all over my pillow. It's not a big deal. It's not bad for your hair. It's not staining anything. Uh, it does wash out. It's it's great. Um, the benefits of coconut oil are it is antibacterial, antifungal. When it comes into contact with um, water, it creates a, a substance, I guess, similar to hydrogen peroxide, if what I'm reading is all done correctly. All I know is that I used it in a pinch because I used to use this product, yes, to carrots every day. This is my go-to moisturizer. I still love this moisturizer. It um, absorbs very quickly into the skin. It's cruelty-free. Um, it smells delicious. It's paraben-free. It's very good for you. But my husband got a hold of it, and he was using it on his arms and on his head, and I was just like, honey, what are you doing? So uh, I was in a pinch. I was out of moisturizer for like two days, and my skin was just like raw, like it was yucky and dry, and I didn't have a chance to go to the store, so I was just like, I'll slap some of this goo on my face and see what happens, and it's the best thing that I ever did. My skin cleared up within two weeks after using it. Personally, I didn't have an issue with it um, uh, making my skin break out anymore or anything like that, so good stuff. Um, I do have, well, you can't see it at this angle, 
but trust me when I tell you I am turning into like a chicken or a turkey or something because I'm starting to get loose skin here. So uh, I've already applied it to my, my face and throat and my this area, uh, it's, it's been sitting on for about 45 minutes now, unlike here. Um, I'll usually just leave it like that while I get ready. Now, I've babbled enough. This is about as long as I leave my coconut oil on. Now, mind you, ordinarily if it's day to day, I'll be brushing my teeth while I do this or whatever, but for the purposes of a video, I'm, I've been sitting here babbling. I have a simple white face cloth and because I use this as the base as my skin moisturizer for day to day, it's great because in my opinion, I think that it also um, protects your skin from free radicals in the environment. So again, it's, it's just a, an excellent, excellent product. Uh, Google coconut oil and you will find numerous uses and I'll tell you, I use this stuff to brush my teeth, I use it as deodorant, I can use it to deep condition my hair. So for one seven dollar product that's all natural, very good for you, clears up acne. Uh, it also makes a good personal lubricant, ladies. Uh, it's not compatible with condoms because it will break down the latex, but you can use it on your hoo-ha, and trust me, my hoo-ha has never been happier. <laughs> um, uh, you can, it's, it's just good stuff. It replaces everything, so to me it's worth the money. Um, okay, so ordinarily I'd be brushing my teeth and then I'd come in and I'd blow dry my hair and then I'd get to this point for the purpose of the video, I rambled. Simple white face cloth. Just pat your face. Now you'll notice that my skin's turning a little bit pink because I'm patting and getting like blood flow to the area, but ah, uh, that's basically just how I do it to get off the excess because obviously I don't want my skin to be greasy during the day while I'm outside at work, uh, outside in the daylight, while I'm at work. Uh, I'm a blackjack dealer at a casino, so again, it's kind of important to look cool because it's just part of the job. You gotta look nice. Um, okay, from there, I have, and this was what I found to replace my conventional makeup. It's uh, liquidy texture, but it's great for you. Uh, it's Gabriel Cosmetics. I found it at my local Whole Foods Market. You can also look them up online. Uh, Gabriel Cosmetics Incorporated. It's uh, uh, www.gabrielcosmeticsinc.com, and if you go there, you can purchase it there. Um, it's moisturizing liquid foundation. This color is rose beige, which suits me perfectly because I'm not like an Irish person with really light pink skin. Um, I've got just normal skin with like a pinkish undertone. So this is what worked best for me. It's very natural. Um, the consistency of it is a bit liquidy. You can't really tell too well in the jar, but if you look, it's just a bit liquidy. So I just take and, and shake it before I use it, and then I begin to apply. And it's just going to go under my eyes, and I'll let it set there for a minute. I like to use it as a base for my eyeshadow. Again, I'm being very gentle. Then I'm going to go and dot it across my forehead because that just helps get a more even application. I'm tapping my fingers together to distribute it evenly between my fingertips. And then I'll kind of go back this way. I'll dab again and then kind of go around here because I, from having acne for most of my adult years, which tell me that's not crazy. I survived my teenage years with no acne, but I turned 21 and my face started freaking out on me and I was like, really? God definitely has a sense of humor. So I'm just gently going in circles. Uh, I will put it into my eyebrows just because it helps keep everything even. You don't want to have any lines, ladies, when you do your makeup. Okay, now uh, I do concentrate it a bit more in the areas where I have redness, just naturally. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but you can see where I'm red around my T-zone area. So I'm going to go ahead in there. Uh, I have sort of 
large pores in this area of my face. So I dab it into there and allow it to just sort of set. Now I will say that this product comes off amazingly easily. Um, I use the Yes to Carrots Daily um, Moisturizing Makeup Remover. It comes in an orange bottle. It's about the size of a small hairspray bottle. You can get it for like $8. Again, it's a local Walmart product. It's very easy to find. Target will have it. Most major grocery store chains will have it. Go over your lips. Now, for me, I'm starting to get fine lines and wrinkles here. So, uh, I just find that it helps to fill in those. Again, it just helps create the illusion of a bit more youthful skin when it's not the case. Unfortunately, you don't stay cute forever. Uh, now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of making note of the areas where I need a bit more full coverage, and I'm dabbing on, and I'm not going in circles. Now, this area is basically completely clear on me, so... I don't really need to do anything except make sure that the makeup is going to blend sort of flawlessly. It glides on very smoothly. It's very simple to put on. Uh, it mixes very well with the coconut oil. I don't know. Again, I'm just going to go over here, make sure I have even skin. Blend back into like where your ears are because it helps uh, just make sure that you're not going to have a line. Now, uh, not all my products are cruelty free because I do have some things that I bought conventionally before I started to really learn about um, what kind of stuff goes on in the cosmetics industry. So uh, I'm not going to list all the brushes that I have. Uh, I'll tell you the ones that I do know the names of. I would absolutely recommend getting uh, a synthetic hair bristle. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is uh, Makeup Forever. And I got it at Sephora. It's been washed a few times. It's a bad idea to put something with a plastic label in the microwave to try to dry it a little bit. I don't know what I was thinking, but sometimes I get a little OCD. So the label kind of melts it off a little bit. But the handles wouldn't. Um, now, I've gone over and I've let everything set. So what I'm going to do is just use this basic kabuki brush, which has really nice, soft, thick bristles. And I'm just going to kind of buff the makeup into my face. Um, now, the areas where I've applied it a little more thickly... It absorbs down into my pores. It's very good for my skin. I don't have to sandblast it off my face. It does not feel like I'm wearing a ton of product. My skin still feels like it's breathing. So that's good to know. Uh, so I just kind of start there and I blend. Um, now I'm not going out anywhere today or doing anything special. This video is just for the purpose of you guys. So ordinarily I would of course continue application on down to my neck. I do have um, some, some old acne scarring and breakouts in here and whatnot that I will cover same way. Uh, but I'm not going to do that now because I just want to save time. And I don't have a better way to edit this video and make it any shorter. So, that's that product. I'm putting it away. Now, uh, let's see. Next thing. Where I want to be shine free. This is great stuff. This is Clabber Girl Cornstarch. It has the same consistency as Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Same consistency. Same. Um, I'll take one of my little brushes again. I got this as like an extra little Bare Minerals starter kit set. And I will, when I dip it into the cornstarch, it gets all over the brush. And I just use the lid to swirl, tap, and, swirl, tap, and buff, ladies. Um, can kind of bang it off like this, and I'm just making sure I don't have a crap ton on of it on the brush. Uh, I'm wearing a shirt for the purpose of the video. This stuff does kind of get all over the place, so generally when I'm doing my makeup, I'm sitting here in my bra and underwear, but y'all don't need to see that, trust me. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just dot it on my face. Now, it immediately takes care of the shine. I do not feel like I have pancake makeup on my face. Again, my skin still feels good. It's important for me to not feel there it goes in my hair. Uh, it's important for me to not feel like I'm wearing, I don't know, every bottle of makeup in the world. I mean, my makeup has to feel comfortable on my face. And with other products like Revlon Color Stay, Max Factor, Chanel, Clinique, I mean, I've tried quite a few different products. Um, even some of like the BB creams. Uh, and tinted moisturizers, my skin didn't feel like it had um, any room to breathe, and that just is not comfortable. And then furthermore, I would go and put these powders on my face, and 
an hour later I'd have to reapply them. This is the only time that I apply powder and I work for eight hours in a noisy, uh, sometimes real hot, stressful environment and I don't have to touch up my makeup. Now, I mean, sometimes I'll bring it just because it's sort of a comfort to have it and I'll use it, like I'll, I'll bring it and then I end up not using it. I'm like, why do I put this in my makeup bag? It's just taking up space. I really don't need it, but I guess for the first time that I tried it. Now, uh, I think it was CoverGirl had corn silk makeup and stuff. Well, why would you buy a product that charges you more money for something that doesn't really give you the benefit of using the product itself? Now, as you can see, the shine is completely gone from my face. Now, I will tell you that as the, um, I guess you guys can see that, uh, as the, and this glare on my nose is legitimately just glare when I look into my mirror over here, my nose is not shiny. Um, you're like, why would you buy a product that charges you more money for something that doesn't even have enough of the natural ingredient in it to make an effective difference? It doesn't make sense. You can buy this for just under $5. There's a ton of it. I've had it for two months now, maybe three, and I've been using it every single day just as I did, and I still have a ton left. So, there you go. Um, now, Next thing, uh, I mentioned Lush Cosmetics in my previous blog with Henna. Lush has these great um, products. They're like sensory makeup colors, and you can use them all over your face. Uh, some of them have like a doe foot applicator like this one does. That's what a doe foot applicator is. It's like a lip gloss applicator. And some of them have a brush applicator. Uh, like the eyeliners and things, like so. It's a liquid paintbrush eyeliner deal. So for just a simple makeup idea, what I do is I take this. This is the Lush Cosmetics, and this color is Sophisticated. And again, Lush is a vegan company, no animal cruelty, uh, all natural products. It's good for you. There's no cancer-causing agents in it. Um, they check with their suppliers. You can go online to Lush.com, but I really, 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 really am a huge fan of this company. So what I'll do, and I have a mirror down here, so I'm going to look down here, is I will just dot this kind of across my eyelid, and I'm just going very lightly. Now, uh... As you can see, a little bit goes a very long way. So, I don't need to use a ton of this for it to to stay or to I don't know, I just don't need to use a lot of it. Pretty simple, right? Then I'll take my ring finger and I will just dot it across my eyelids just to help it blend a bit more seamlessly. Uh, now, then I just have another. This is yet another Bare Minerals brush that I got in a, it's a blending brush. It says blending Bare Minerals. Um, I'll just use this. Again, um, I didn't see the need to get rid of all my products that may have been conventional or that may have been tested on animals because I just felt like, I mean the animal already went through something and sacrificed something so I'm going to take care of what I have and when it needs to be replaced I will absolutely replace it with a cruelty free product um, because when you use natural hairs it's not like someone's just going around with a little basket picking hairs up that are falling off of a shedding animal. They abuse the animal and then they... Um, they basically exploit it for, for whatever value they can get out of it and complete disregard for the fact that the animal has uh, an idea of what pain feels like. So, there we go. Um, I got a little bit of an omni right there. Now, this will stay on all day. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't fade, it doesn't cake, it doesn't nothing and you can't tell I'm not sure that the camera's picking it up but there's a slight shimmer to this product which if you're going for uh, just a brighter look you want to put something on with a little bit of shimmer um, okay so that is my base for my my eye makeup let's see 
Now, I have an option to do the black eyeliner or the brown eyeliner. Um, I think I'll do black just because it'll be easier for you guys to see. Again, I'm going to look in the mirror down here. So, I'm going to just... And it's... Don't pump your, your makeup products. Twist because you don't want to get a lot of air in there. Air creates bacteria. Um, get enough on the brush that you're comfortable working with. And I just... line very gently I like to make a bit of a cat eye I think it just opens up your face a little bit more and then go to the other side again I'm not double dipping I do need a little bit more so again I'm just gonna go in dip um, now, you can, like, if you like the taupe color of this, you can go ahead and use it as a lipstick or mix the colors, mix and match. Um, the brighter colors, and actually, to heck with, to heck with the simple look, I'll show you guys the bright red that I have just to give you an idea of the range of colors. So, that's it. If you want a smokier eye, you can go ahead and um, just take like a little, any kind of small brush that you have and just mess it up a little bit. As a matter of fact, why don't I do that for you guys? Let's see. Where are my brushes? Here we go. Here's one. And this one has a little bit of, I, I haven't washed my brushes, this one has a little bit of like a purpley pink pigment to it. Just wipe it off a little bit. And you could go back through. Oh, it caked off a little bit. So I'll go back and remedy that, but you can go back and mess it up a little bit if you want a softer line. And again, if you don't use a black eyeliner, you're going to get a, a more natural, everyday kind of look. So if you have to go to like a parent-teacher conference or something like that, you can do that. But one of the nice things about being a dealer is... Excuse me. I don't work for a church or a preschool, so I can basically do what I want and be pretty creative. Now, uh, this is Eyes Right. Again, it's by Lush. You can see the little in the bottom cruelty free, it's got the little leaping buddies and everything on the back of it. My hand's shaking. Um, and then I just go ahead and put this on my lashes. I don't particularly care to put um, mascara on my lower lashes. I find that for me it's just uncomfortable, but you can certainly do that if you need to. I have made the mistake, and I probably will within the next few seconds here, of getting overexcited with my eye makeup and stabbing my eyeball with the applicator and the nice thing is that this doesn't sting or burn which is good because there are other conventional brands that I've used um, that do so again that makes me think like bunnies don't even wear makeup I think they're lying just so people will stop testing on them <laughs> so when they get stabbed in the eye with whatever product they're using and they're like nope feels fine can I go home now that's what they think Now, if you want to do a thicker lash, let this dry a little bit and apply a coat or two more. I uh, turn, because I think that it helps coat the lash better. So, there you go, but if you want to do thicker makeup, just do a couple more coats, not a big deal. This stuff comes off very easily. All this stuff, uh, I can take off my makeup in under three minutes if I'm in a big rush. If I want to do a good job and make sure that I get it all off, I'll use a face cloth and wipe off my face. Most of it's water soluble. It just rinses right off. But it stays in place all day long, which makes me wonder what Revlon Color Stay was thinking when they decided to make stuff that you had to sandblast off your face. Okay, so let's see. 
uh, just to give you an idea, this is bright red. Okay, this is a nice coral pink color. I have hot pink, and again, if I decided that I wanted to use this as, like, say, hot pink for uh, an eyeshadow color, I could go right close to the lash line, probably forgo liner just the same way I did with the taupe, and then I'll blend it with a brush until it's the consistency that, and until it's the look that I want, which I'll do one of those looks, but this is just a simple sort of get it out there kind of video. Um, I'm going to use red just because red seems to be pretty popular right now. I like when Taylor Swift does it. She does, if you're going to use a bright red, it's a good idea to just do minimal eye makeup and stuff, but it's a great sophisticated look. It's a pop of color that makes like a white t-shirt and jeans just sort of look a bit more pit, put together in my opinion. So this is a doe foot applicator. Again, this color is Ambition. I'm just going to dip it in and these have like a you can't see it on camera, I don't think, but um, they have a, a little thing inside the well that helps take off some of the excess product, which is a nice benefit. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. It feels great on, it stays on, it doesn't get all over your teeth. Um, you don't have to reapply it. Uh, sometimes when I wear a bright red lipstick, it's very high maintenance and I've got to fix it every time I go on break and it's just a pain. But this, you can put it on and you don't have to really mess with it again for another three or four hours. Now, My dog has woken up, which that is Glory. She's the other half of my vegan Glory, and I'll explain that some other time, but she is a Glory. Um, so I'll let it set. I'll let it dry. It does stain your lips a little bit, which is nice because if you want the red color to last again, it, it's good. Um, it's just good stuff. It feels good on. My lips aren't dry. It doesn't cake, which it will be a bit more matte when it... Um, when it finishes drying. Now remember that um, cornstarch that we put on and the, the, the coconut oil and the foundation being applied a little more thickly in my red area, uh, all those things help to fill up the fine lines around your mouth and prevent your lipstick from feathering, um, which once this dries it feels comfortable on and it doesn't um, feather anyway, but it's just, again, it's just added benefit. Now. I have, um, this is an, a NYX, NYX is the brand. They started out being cruelty free and then they decided to sell to China. And if you sell in China uh, cosmetics, the Chinese government mandates that you test it on animals. The way they get away with calling themselves cruelty free is because they don't test on uh, animals in the USA. So their packaging is appropriate for the USA, but when they go overseas, it's a whole other story. So um, again, that's why I like to find uh, products and just ask quick, you know, hey, do you guys sell to China? And I mean, there's all kinds of girls out there that think the same way that I do, and it's easy um, to, to find the replacements. So what I'm going to do is, because my eyebrows are a bit, I mean, they do have cornstarch in them, they're not quite as well shaped and defined, I'm just going to take this and just gently sort of fill in just to bring some color back to that area. It's nice too because I pluck my eyebrows like once a month-ish. Like do a good tweezing. So when you do this it just helps create a more polished look. So I mean that's it. And then this has a little brush on the end of it that I'll just go back and kind of comb through what's there and it's nice that it takes off the excess powder straightens out the brows and I don't look like my eyebrows are particularly penciled. Last thing 
And again, I'm going to go to my good old Bare Minerals because I had quite a bit of it. This came from a holiday collection. It is Bare Minerals Vintage Pearl. I got it at an outlet for maybe $10. It wasn't terribly expensive, but again, I have it, so I'm going to use up the rest of it and then probably replace with the Gabriel Cosmetics line because they have all kinds of things and I'm really super happy with the foundation. I didn't mention the foundation is $30, but for what I'm saving in other products, um, it the cost evens itself out. Um, and again, these, I got them on sale. They were buy one, get one free. They're $18 a piece. Um, so I got them for $9. But again, like, this is not just a fun 80s funky lip color. I could also use it on my eyes. I could dot it on my cheeks if I wanted to. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of using the Bare Minerals, I am going to... Where is it? It's probably in my purse. I have a regular pink color. I'm actually going to use this. Again, it's a doe foot applicator. Um, I can use it on my lips. I can use it for a fun eye color. I can whatever. And I can use it like blush. Let's see, I've got some mascara. So, just dot it on up. Da 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 and then blend use circular motions when you're blending which is what I'm doing keep it to the apples of your cheeks and as you can see it blends right in so again although depending on whether or not you get it on sale Again, mine was $9. Your, yours will be $18 because the product is not on sale at this point. But, um, considering that you're buying three different products for one price, uh, you know, how much would you pay to purchase those things separately? So in my opinion, it's equally cost-effective to pay for something that works well and has three different uses. I'll put a dot there. Uh, it's got a slight shimmer to it, which is nice, because it just helps brighten and highlight, and then, and there's still enough left on this brush, which this is the same brush that I used for the cornstarch and all that, so again, if you're concerned about being a pasty white color, you're not going to be, because you have these other products where you're going ahead and putting on and adding color back to your face, and it's just not an issue. Now, there we go. I'm done. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, according to my camera, I've been recording for 33 minutes. If I wasn't babbling, this whole look would take me about 15 minutes to do, so it's very easy, very doable. Um, I'm trying to give you an up close of my lips. Now, uh, I don't know. I'm not happy with the way it's kind of settling out here, so I'm just going to dot... And that's it. And then when I, if I were to go take this all off, it would take me less than five minutes to take it all off, including the dark black liquid eyeliner. Um, my lips will be stained red a bit, excuse me, but when I brush my teeth, I'll just lightly brush over my lips. And generally, by the time I wake up in the morning, um, they're not bright red anymore. They don't interfere with any other color that I should decide to change or whatever. And um, the product is good for you. There's no parabens or anything. Like Lush is a great, 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 great great company. Big fan. So there you have it. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to comment and like the video. Please subscribe to my channel, my Vegan Glory TV. Um, and I hope that you will look forward to other tutorials. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.